How's it growing? Today, I'm excited to talk about Bokashi composting. This episode will cover the basics of Bokashi. First, I'll go over what it is, then why you should consider this method. Then finally, I'll show and explain how it's done. I'm fairly new to Bokashi composting. It was only last October that I learned about it from Jason at Tree Amigos. Well, Bokashi, it's a soil product, the beneficial bacteria again. And so when it's done, it's not like a compost like this, like this is our compost blend. Um, it's fermented food scraps that you can then just bury right in your garden bed. Since I've had this, I've made about seven or eight batches. And here are four advantages that this type of composting has over hot composting. Number one, in only four to five weeks, you can turn food scraps into a nutrient rich soil amendment full of beneficial microbes. And number two, it's much simpler than hot composting, which I also do. With this method, you don't have to worry about getting the right ratio of greens and browns and the right moisture content. You don't have to turn the pile. And typically in a standard compost bin, if you let the pile go anaerobic, that's when the disease causing organisms start taking over. Yet with this, you don't have to worry about it going anaerobic. Bokashi is anaerobic using EM, effective microbes, which are lactobacillus microbes that ferment the scraps. Number three, you can simply compost on your kitchen counter or underneath the kitchen sink. This is great news if you don't have a whole lot of space for a compost bin or a tumbler, or maybe you're renting a house and you just don't wanna to have to bother your landlord asking him if you can have a compost bin. You can now do this without a compost bin. Number four, you're not as limited as to what you can compost. With a standard compost bin, it's not good to compost meat or dairy products. And that includes egg yolks. With Bokashi, you can compost any food scraps. Well, almost any. I would still stay away from high sodium foods like chips. How does this method work? How do we do this? First, let me explain the bucket. It's actually a bucket within a bucket. And the inner bucket has holes that drain the juices into the outer bucket. As the food scraps lose their juices, it drains this leachate, which can be used as a nutrient-rich fertilizer after it's diluted with water at a 100 to 1 ratio, or one tablespoon to two liters of water. I got this Organco Bokashi system from Tree Amigos Growers in Davie, Florida, and I love it. And now it comes with a bag like this of inoculate, which is a rice bran with molasses. You can also make your own Bokashi bran, but it is a long process that I'm not even gonna attempt to try. This is what inoculates the bucket. You do it in layers. To start a Bokashi batch, first we add some of this bran at the bottom and then add a layer of compost. Add some of this bran, maybe about a tablespoon worth, and then add a layer of compost. Push it down, trying to minimize any air pockets. I collect coffee grounds at work, including the filters. Coffee grounds are great for filling in the gaps. and then add another tablespoon of bran. You do this until it reaches the top. Because this is an anaerobic system, the less frequently you open it, the better. I never open this to add compost more than once a day. And usually, I may open it only three times a week to add more. I have this other bucket that we keep food scraps in under the kitchen sink. Once this is full, then I'll add that to the Bokashi bucket. So I like a little extra Bokashi bran in the bottom of the bucket and the very top. And then we close it up. See that? Then we close it up. Firm into place. 
squeeze it down. Now it's good to ferment for two weeks. Drain the leachate every day or at least every couple of days. After two weeks, everything will still look like food scraps and it needs to be buried in a hole for at least two weeks to neutralize it before it's safe to use as a soil amendment on the plants. Until then, it's too acidic. Two weeks ago, I buried my previous batch. Let's go take a look at it. I'm not seeing any food scraps. I'm just seeing a lot of millipedes. Millipedes are also beneficial to the soil. They eat decaying organic matter. Their millipede castings are probably just as good as worm castings. After you empty the Bokashi composter, all that's left to do is clean it up and start a new batch. EM, effective microbes, is what makes Bokashi composting work. And it ferments the scraps. It's also used in EM1. And I've seen it do amazing things around here. One thing in particular that I'm gonna cover in the next episode of Stacks Urban Harvest, one thing is every year, this time of year, I've had this, this particular plant that would get an infestation of whitefly. And I have tried everything. Even before I was organic, I was using horrible pesticides. That did not work. Nothing really worked nearly as effective as the EM1. This is used as both a foliar spray and as a drench. So in this next episode, I'll talk about some amazing things, including things that it's done for my mango and avocado trees. I reached out to Terraganics, the distributor for EM1 and the Bokashi bucket that I have here. I let them know that I'm working on a couple of videos on their products and now you can receive a 10% discount if you use one of the links in the description below and use the promo code Stacks Urban Harvest. In addition to getting that discount, you'll be supporting the mission of this channel, which is to help new gardeners grow their own organic food. We have a simple solution. And the secondary mission to help bring awareness to the regenerative movement of regenerative agriculture, regenerative gardening. If you're not familiar with the regen movement, I highly recommend this film, Kiss the Ground, on Netflix. It seems too simple. Healthy soils lead to a healthy plant. Healthy plant, healthy human, healthy climate. Super inspiring and narrated by Woody Harrelson. Hey, if you got something out of this, please consider giving a thumbs up like on this video subscribe to the channel, click on that bell so that you'll be notified when I upload videos in the future. Finally, live regeneratively and let's grow together.